Yo! Video games. He's dead. Here you go, Simmons. This right. game's fucking fun, man. Oh my <laughs> god. When you get the hang of things, it's really fun. So the slow mo thing is only a certain amount of time. Yeah, and the gone. slow mo actually takes away your technical health, like your your and your your, your, your uh, shield. Hey, you remember that? that That's why this game is kind of hard. Yeah, yeah, you remember that shit back in like the old fighter games, like the brawler games, where like you would do special move and it will take away your own health. And you'd be like, what the fuck is the point of that? Shit? Yeah. yeah. Like I don't understand. Like why the fuck would like you know like, uh, in a final fight would you do that? No, for it's designed to take away your quarter. Yeah. It was like the yeah, it was designed to take your quarter. Yeah, it was the best when we got like that. The enemies in front of you, in the back of you, away from you. And then it'll take away your health. I'm like, well, I don't want to fucking do that. I don't want to lose my health. Like, right. I mean, like, maybe, like, if you got caught in the nasty combo, I guess it would help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think if they grabbed you, I need to, like, Gray Fox Field Officer. Wow. Of course. Full Gray Bravo. Move out. Gray Fox! Oh, Chaos Trigger. I thought it was Chaos. Colonel, that ninja's Gray Fox. Not what I was after, but it'll do. Flash. Mm. Yes. Heavy machine gun! Heavy machine gun. Mm. I wonder what it's like to have Sam just roll a fuck around and do this shit. <laughs> I like my lock on laser, man. It's actually helped out quite a bit. You also really like Panzer Dragoon. I do. I really <laughs> love just the, the shoot to whoop laser. <laughs> I'm a big fan. So you're gonna get right this, up the stairs. Let's go. You can get the same uh, thing. And you remember, you played Lost Planet, right, Steve? Yeah. Remember the big giant box laser that had like four cartridges in it, and when you locked onto a guy, it would. Yeah. Boom. yeah well, the multi-lock thing was fucking awesome. You <laughs> like that? That's you remember? Remember actually dodging to avoid it when it barely fucking hits you? Dude, I never actually got hit by that. I always just used it. I was fucking. It was like amazing. Yeah. It's uh. That game was fun because in Lost Planet you got about five frames of invincibility on rolling. Really? Yeah. And so what you could do is literally avoid rocket launches and sniper shots if you were really fucking good. Time to like just right shit. But the end of a roll had a bunch of recovery, so you, got, you couldn't just roll the fuck around all the time. Our nav systems won't work that game. It turned into Lost Planet 3. And it turned into like pretty much Dead Space. Yeah. There is no like the story was way out there after a while. Sir. Oh, you know what? I kind of felt like a, a red fashion. Like red fashion was like a great game. Like the first game was awesome. The story was fucking amazing. And then the next two games is like way fucking more. Pretty yeah. Pretty yeah. Pretty yeah. I guess that's no relation to the original. Bravo six actual. Over. Bravo six actual. This is Dead Crew Gold Five. Encountering resistance on Red Hill. Casualties heavy. Heavy resistance. Weird military jargon. Dead Crew Gold Five. Estimate force strength. Fuck. Inspiring confidence here, Burns. We need to take that damn hill. The mother of Russia is fucking shit up, and you guys are like, okay, yeah, Russia's so Russia's the bad guys. They nuke San Francisco. Got to get them. Man, that's the story. That is awesome. That's fucking Contra right there. It is more shit up. Let's go. You have a special suit that makes you awesome. Hell yeah. But that's superfluous. That does not the main the main focus cool, yeah, of the plot. Right, yeah. And you're not the only one with the, with the suit, right? Like no, the you're the only one with the suit. You're, you're in like a test prototype suit. Oh, okay, okay. okay. A lot of shit. This guy's an idiot. This guy's an idiot. Whoa! Oh, Jesus! So have you guys ever played Neo Geo Battle Coliseum? It's pretty much like the, the King of Fighters version of Capcom vs. SNK. Yeah, I know what I remember. But it's like an SNK All-Stars game, so you have like Rock from, you know, Fatal Fury, Mark of the Wolves, you have Yeah, that's Terry. what I was saying, Mark of the Wolves was kind of like that. And then you also like have everybody. Bahamaru and other dudes from Samurai Showdown fighting other King of Fighters characters, so it's literally... It's literally SNK All Stars. Yeah, I think yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that game. Didn't they have that, that, that family? Family? Yes, they had butt. Yeah, naked but no, Athena. That, that's that was uh, Mark of the Wolves. I don't remember Battle. But but is yeah, they, they but had is in Garo. Yeah, Garo, uh, Mark of the Wolves. They had a Battle Call Sim with Famous for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that was for a while. I remember Butt. Butt was awesome. Like Steve got good with Butt. Yeah. Butt. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I didn't think it was as fucking gruff and as cool. I don't feel like they should be street fighting. I think they should be they fucking should be opposing. Yeah, they should be opposing. Well, who was it in the, the fucking one artist? Shinkaro? Whatever. Yeah. Like, for the longest time, everyone looked like George Clooney. Yeah, everyone had the Clooney face <laughs> in CBS 2. Every, every dude, bro, had a Clooney face dude, in that bro. game. <laughs> and that, he got a lot better. Shinkaro got way better over time. He did the art for, uh... He did that art over there, and there's still a lot of Clooney faces over there. Oh, this oh, shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, There's yeah, a lot yeah, of Clooney okay. faces. Yeah, even look at fucking Phoenix, dude. No, Hagar. But look at like Hagar. Hagar is like a big gloomy. Oh look yeah. At, look right? at Virgil's gloomy face. <laughs> look at even Hawkeye and Frank over there. That's Ooh, what I've always noticed about his art. That's I, why I, 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 everyone I, 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 looks like very similar. Holy shit! Look at this fucking cat. Anyway, yeah. um, oh, uh, I, I think uh, I never really <laughs> you know. Oh, I already know what's gonna happen. Ryan's gonna be near the side when he closes. <laughs> I already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Kenny's like, I know the story behind this door. Yeah, I already know. I play a fighting game. I play a fighting game, Dad. Don't worry, guys, I play fighting games. I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Shoot this bastard, Simmons. Fuck up. That's funny. Yeah, I never associated with I just, I just had the idea that we all just worked a lot. <laughs> Duck Looney. He's yeah. like that uh, handsome white people. Yeah, I know, right? Like, like handsome he is, white people <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. I was like, he is supposed to be like one of the sexiest guys ever, or whatever the fuck. Well, Jorge Clooney. Yeah, yeah like, George uh, Clooney, isn't he? Isn't he like supposed to be that? I don't know. Uh, no, George Clooney's uh, real Bruce Wayne. He's a real Bruce. He's Wayne. a fucking yeah. He is actually the true to life Bruce Wayne. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's real life Bruce Wayne. Like I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm neither gay nor female, so I have no idea. If yeah. If oh fuck! Oh screw that! I'd fuck George. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, could, you could tell. Come on. Yeah. Come, yeah. On. Come like, on. When a guy's like, like, man, I wish I could look like that guy yeah. so I could have more women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, he looks. I mean, yeah. <laughs> if I could, if I shit's none of these. I, I would, if I had to choose to look like George Clooney, I'd totally fuck it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but you guys are all like not saying anything. I'm like, wasn't he supposed to be like the most handsome guy or something? You're like, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I mean, he doesn't look that handsome there when everyone looks like a well, Clooney. Yeah, I know, because it looks just awkward. I think, I think Chun Li definitely like completely is like away from everybody. Like she's an old Yeah, she's like, she has like a bigger anime eyes than everyone else. Yeah, has the anime eyes. eyes. Yeah, anime eyes. Really. Yeah. Like yeah, she's the only one that looks apart from everybody. Everybody else is fucking like, scary fucking. Can you actually climb ladders? Yeah, <laughs> this this guy does not do ladder climbing. He's beyond, he's evolved beyond it. Check out the rocks. Not, not the ladders. Oh yeah, that's super. That's just CBS2. Did she mess up? Did she mess up on his foot right there, or is that like she ran out of fucking like white or something like that? Uh, he has a gold thing. He's got a gold, 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 gold. Yeah, he's flashy. Oops. What Kenny and Steve are staring at is the giant Marvel Three poster I have in the background, uh, which is one of the better posters I think. I'm gonna the upgrade game. the lock on laser. You notice how in the very, very, very back yeah. it's Galactus. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, all the way back there. We might have gotten that for you when we went to the PSP. Yeah, there was. Yeah. yeah, and there was another dude that hooked me up with a bunch of posters that I still uh, have a few I can give away, which will happen eventually. You guys still have these, right? Uh, I don't know. Because you guys gave me one way back yeah. in the day. Yeah, but. Assault rifle. This guy's got a lot of armor on. No, you know how fucking sick this game would be if it was all for certain? No, I would get sick. I would get sick as fuck. You would be all dizzy and shit. Like, dude, what am I doing right the now? The thing is, I think, I think this game is unique because it's not in first person. <laughs> exactly. I think it's good to see all the action and what your character is doing. doing and shit. Like, like, I was actually telling Simmons this and mentioning it a while ago. Um, I think this game is a good base for what they should make a Mega Man X game. Like, instead of just a side-scroller, mm -hmm. put Mega Man X as this guy, his arm changes into tons of shit, like his gun changes into tons well, of shit. Well, you did play... Give him a ton of mobility and go nuts. You did play Mega Man, uh, 6 or 7 that had, uh, him in 3D, and it was fucking terrible. Yeah, I didn't know X7. I didn't, X7. 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 I, I know yeah. of it, I have not played it. Oh, you didn't play it? Oh, no. I thought you guys didn't play it. No, no, I didn't. 
they did an awful job. I think Mega Man Legends well, did a good job. It was slow as shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mega, Mega Man Legends did a good you job. You go back and you play Mega Man Legends. We, we went back and we tried the first one out now, and I beat that game back in the day, and I remember liking it, and it yeah. feels clunky as hell. Yeah, now, yeah. It's super At the time, cool. it was like, okay, you know, this is fucking like the pretty Yeah, story. it was fun because it was a 3D Mega Man. That's yeah, yeah. What you wanted. Yeah. And it was an RPG, so it lasted you a long time. Yeah, like you're a kid, you need games to last a long time. So. Right, right. I liked it. Oh, Ventures a T-bone? I don't know why they didn't spit off of her at all, but I guess she was like light. Well, there was Mega Man Legends 2, and then there was Mega Man Legends The Adventures of T-bone. Yeah. Misadventures. Misadventures of T-bone, yeah. I never played that one. I never played Legends 2. After the first one, I was like, I don't know if I want to... Yeah, go through all that again. I don't yeah. want to play it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it's fun. Okay. It's fun, it was but good. Well, it was a one-time thing. Yeah, yeah it's a one-time thing. It's still, a, it's still a good Mega Man RPG. Yeah. What I do want to play is the fucking Zero games on GTA. Yeah, oh. those old... Those are well, good. Design the, the only thing that I didn't like about it is that it wasn't uh, too relatable to the X-Series, but it yeah. had its own kind of feel that it did. It those really guys good. got fucked, holy yeah. shit. The, I uh, it. The, uh, yeah, he did the, four. the laser went full, like, way far away and locked on and hit him on the head. Oh, fuck that. The, um... I don't know, after Mega Man X5, I think we were kind of burned out on the X-Series. I think we kind of... Besides, like, X2 and X3, which we haven't played yet... How dare you be burned out on X-Series! X4 is as good as it gets, in my opinion. Um, I, I can't remember when, uh... No, you know, when left. Like, I mean, there was, like, I think, <laughs> 6 and 7. <laughs> and he actually wasn't even, like, really a part of it. No, he was, set. yeah, after... I think after X5, is he... That he was done. Like, he killed off Zero, and he was done after that, and then they brought him back. back I yeah, think that's right. how it goes. Yeah. Well, I, I, the, what I did like about it is the fact that, not just the fact that they kill up Zero, but um, they were hinting like crazy about fucking Dr. Wily. You guys played it. You guys went through the parts where they showed the Yeah, to bring him back. Top. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, this will explain the origins well, of fucking Sigma Zero. was a Wily creation, right? Well, Zero, Zero is. No, Zero, Zero is. Zero is. Uh, Sigma, yeah. yeah. But, um, no, they were going to explain, like, you know, full hardly. How Zero came to be, what his origins were, yeah. you know, why they all that shit. They're gonna do and that then by the time four. five and six and seven hit, they're like, fuck that. Yeah, they just kinda go nuts. Yeah, and I'm and I, well, that's the reason I liked X4 is that it had like an origin story. It actually had like good presentation with the animated cutscenes uh, yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the game is genuinely freaking fun. Yeah. Like, X4 is a lot of fun to play. Yeah. I mean, you can make it hard for yourself and pick like I don't know Mega Man or something like that or whatever. They, either it's, Mega it's, Man it's or Zero hard. was the hard it, it's one. It's harder. It's harder with Zero. Yeah. Most I mean, of the games are harder. That's what happened. I, I played as Zero in X4 and Simmons played as Mega Man and we kind of yeah. split the game up and yeah, it was yeah. fun, man. I never played that game as Zero before and we loved it. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, that's the most fun Mega Man X game, uh, still to this day. Well, you can't knock it. The other two, they, they're they're good in their own right. Yeah. But uh, it's just it's different. It's, it's just different, and the story is like the, like I would play it just for the game and not. Yeah, really, it's, you know, a, like, it's having fun with the game. Yeah. And X5 is a total shoo in of X4. It's just yeah, like fun. the same shit over and over it's and over. It's funny because it came out like three years later, too. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of weird how it feels like it came out six months after. Right. I'll be honest, like, if you're playing Mega Man for the story, then why? Yeah. Well, I mean, I was a big fan of the story. I well, liked, after a while, you really liked, loved liked the show. character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's part of your life since you were a kid. Then <laughs> you would really, like, if you're later on, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like story was never kind of like a draw of Mega Man. True. Which true. Which true. Um, <clears throat> but I like where they went with it. They, they became it became more adult thing. Like the character evolved. Oh, X Four was kind of the epitome of that. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, it wasn't an adult theme, but as a kid and you're growing up with Mega Man, it definitely felt like Mega Man as a series was growing up. Yeah, it was growing when up. You, yeah, when you saw how X Four's yeah. characters were in the relationship. I mean, from the regular Mega Man series to the X series, there were more characters were. Not oh. Oh, yeah, totally. More, you know, I mean, more. to be honest, X is the darker, grittier future, everyone's yeah. fucked version. And Mega Man is like, Happy we gotta go save the planet, Yay! Rush. Yay! You're my <laughs> dog. I'm gonna sit on you now. <laughs> so, I don't know. I have no problem with that. I like the lighthearted version of Mega Man, and I like the serious version. I think it's a character that actually works in both regards. Yeah. Too bad they don't, too bad Capcom doesn't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> Flying shit! Because it would have been awesome to get a, a game at any point. <laughs> No fucks giving. No, no fucks, fucks giving. 
The thing is, I got his bag and the funny thing is, like, I, I like writing Capcom about Mega Man shit, and I'm not even, like, the biggest Mega Man fan. I just fucking like it. Yeah. So I don't I, I don't care that much if there is or isn't a game. It's just, but fuck, man. What about Zero? You're a Zero fan. I think Zero is cool. Yeah. But I think, I think Mega Man X is way fucking cooler. Yeah. In okay. my opinion. Okay. Um, the but, Japanese in opening to zero one. That's really dark and gory. Zero one. Yeah. Oh, zero on GBA. Like yeah. The redesigned zero. Huh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The original. Yeah. Should we, uh, should the op- we switch yeah. open now? <laughs> yeah. The okay. opening is super dark on uh, zero one. The Japanese. They censored the fuck out of it for America. Really? Well, there we go, dudes.